This largely unnoticed building at the right side of the Basilica of St. John Lateran holds one of the most important relics in all of Christianity, the Holy Stairs. Christian tradition holds that Jesus Christ climbed them before his crucifixion. They led to the Praetorium of Pontius Pilate in Jerusalem. A few days before Easter, the stairs were uncovered for the first time in 300 years. Now the bare marble stairs are available for pilgrims to climb, uniting their sufferings with the sufferings of Christ. For me, the staircase is like a way for the spiritual purification, the spiritual purification through the sufferings. So I was pretty nervous first coming in, um, but kneeling down and walking up, or kneeling up all the way, uh, it was not very comfortable. But you just think about what Jesus went through going up those steps and enduring much more pain. So it was a very powerful uh, moment and just um, it was a big part of history that we get to kind of be a part of again. Putting yourself in that position, it's, it's really like taking, putting yourself in someone else's shoes to another level, I guess, like going through that experience the same way. Passionist fathers are in charge of the shrine. They're the first witnesses to the importance of the relic for pilgrims. It is a stairway that I personally, as vice rector, supervise. And because I'm here from the morning to the evening, I have also heard the testimonies of people who have had miracles. A couple who couldn't have children and trusted themselves to the Lord. And the most beautiful thing is that now every year they come from India with their two children and go up the stairs on their knees with their children in their arms. The complex has been undergoing restoration for almost 30 years, and the renewal of the wooden planks over the stairs was the final step. The head of the restoration team, Paolo Violini, was the first to witness the original state of the stairs. It was a surprise for all of us to see the state of conservation of these steps with the central, almost like canal, that digs a rather deep groove to the point that some of them are rubbed off all the way to its limit of thickness. And going forward, with the rediscovery of the steps, we realized that it is nothing more than the sign of the wear and tear made by the pilgrims who went up on their knees. And the central groove was caused by the toe of the shoe on the lower step, which served to give you the push to climb the next step. According to tradition, the stairs were brought to Rome by St. Helena in the 4th century. But there's no historical account of the authenticity of the stairs. There's hope that the restoration works will shed more light on this. It is difficult to give certainties of this kind, but we analyzed the situation, every single step to determine the type of marble and to classify the differences. But what can already be seen by the eye, which other experts have noted as well, that these marbles are grouped into several groups and they are not completely homogeneous. But all the marble comes from Greece or Asia Minor. After the restoration of the ancient papal chapel of the Sancta Sanctorum, in 2000 a project was started to restore all the frescoes and decorations made in the rooms that Sixtus V built between 1588 and 1590, starting with the chapel of San Silvestro.
patrons of the arts in the Vatican Museum stepped in in 2012 and they adopted this project. Uh, it was um, necessary to have another three million dollars, uh, which is a very large sum for the Passionist Fathers who are the guardians of the sanctuary. Um, so we have um, really been working hard uh, since 2012. We're almost at the end of the project. Uh, nine restorers uh, were on time uh, and we hope for Easter 2020 uh, to finish everything. The stairs are going to remain in the original form throughout the whole period of Easter until Pentecost when they'll be covered again to protect the marble that's been worn down from the friction of millions of pilgrims' knees.